having a variety of simple poses to do with maybe a fussy newborn or maybe if you're just a new newborn photographer is really important to have so you can go into your sessions confidently. In today's episode, I'm going to share with you a very simple hammock wrap that has really minimal movement but big results. Hello and welcome, I'm Lisa from Milk and Honey Photography and the Milky Way and I inspire, empower and educate photographers just like you to create the business, art and lives of their dreams. So welcome back, we're going to be transitioning from the side lay into a hammock style pose. It looks like it should be super complicated but honestly it's super easy you guys and I'm going to go through a few variations with you as well. We're actually going to be using the same mustard colored wrap that we used in our previous videos and because I really want to make this so simple for you guys so you don't have to go out and spend a whole bunch of money to get started becoming an amazing newborn photographer. So let's head over to the beanbag. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is taking baby from side lay into a hammock style position. So what I'm going to do is be taking my lovely scarf here and I'm just going to be placing it right here. I'm actually going to be doubling it over just because it is quite a bit thicker. Um, I'm going to be grabbing a couple clamps. One. And a second clamp. Now these are actually going to be used to be holding the blankets nice and taut. What we're going to be doing is rotating baby onto her back. And really with as minimal movement as possible. I'm going to try to keep these legs crisscrossed. And what I'm going to be doing is sort of scooching this underneath baby's booty, creating sort of a hammock style. So you can do this just a little bit or you can pull it up a lot. I like it when it's kind of tucked under this so it's a little bit more like a hammock. And what I'm going to be doing is to keep these tight, I'm going to be using my clamps and I'm going to be clamping them to my backdrop stand. Now there's all sorts of different variations that you can do with this. We can have baby's hands sort of like this. We can have baby's hands on chest just like this. We can have baby's hand under face, both together under this. There's some variations that you can do with the lower half as well. You can have the entire bottom half completely tucked in. Um, sometimes it's really cute just to have one leg hanging out. That's really cute too. So as you can see, there are a lot of variations you can do with just a simple pose. It's all about changing their hands and their feet, but really not really moving them overly that much. Um, I always like to look for hands, making sure that they're as flat as possible. I find that I prefer them over a balled up hand in my images. Now, if you have not already, make sure that you hit the subscribe button because you don't want to miss a single trick, tip, or tutorial. And if you have not already downloaded your free newborn posing inspiration guide, make sure you check the description to get your copy there. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. We're going to check for recording. <laughs>